19 an aeroplane flies along the four sides of a square at speeds these are the speeds second time it flies at 200 km per hour along the same four sides what is the average speed of the aeroplane for the two journeys combined two ways to think about it one if you already know that average speed is uh, calculated by harmonic mean just do it so let the let each of the sides be d okay so i am considering eight instances first instance 150 second 200 third 250 fourth 300 and then four sides of the square each side at 200 so 4 by 200 okay then you simplify it, you simplify it, you will get 205.13. You have to use a calculator, no two ways about it. Okay. This is one of the ways if you already know that you need to use harmonic mean. Did you know that uh, you need to use harmonic mean in order to find the average speed? Yes. Okay, good. So if you did not know that you had to use harmonic mean in order to uh, calculate then also it is okay. Doesn't matter. Then also you can easily do it. Let the sides of the square be D. Okay. So you are covering the uh, square two times. So you are covering a distance of D plus D plus D eight times. Okay. You are covering eight times. So 8D is the total distance. What is the time? Total distance by total time. Distance by time will obviously give you the average speed. So total distance is 8D time. In order to cover the first distance, speed is 150. So D by 150. Next D by 200. Next D by 250. Next D by 300. And then again four distance it is covering at a speed of 200. So you do this, you can cancel out D, you will ultimately get the same thing that the others were getting who already knew that you need to use harmonic mean. You don't have to mug these things up that, Achha, I need to always remember I need to use harmonic mean in order to calculate the average speed. Why do you need to mug this thing up? Total distance by total time, you do it, you will automatically see that it is the harmonic mean. Okay, the answer is A, 205.12 something something, 13 is the answer. 